what is up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome to another video today we are talking about binders to hold all of your truck and trailer paperwork in in your truck that way when you go into way stations check stations chicken coops whatever you want to call them and they ask for your paperwork it's all in this little binder there's no fumbling around paperwork there's no bringing in a stack of just random papers and digging through them trying to figure out where everything is make it clean make it nice make it easy it'll be faster for you you look more professional and it's going to be faster for everybody else because it seems like every time i go into wyoming they want to see your cab card and your ifta but there's somebody in there you know every two or three times i go in there there's somebody in there that just has this mess of paperwork and they're trying to find what they're asking for especially guys with language barrier uh, i'm not bashing people from other countries i respect everybody that's out there trying to make a living um, but if you have a language barrier this is also going to help because at least then you can just flip it open and the dot officer you know can just flip through and find what they need versus you just throwing a mess of paperwork on their counter and uh, I don't know you know and so and there's people without the language barrier that don't know what a cab card or their registration looks like or their IFTA and so hopefully this will help you out but without further ado let's uh show you the way I have mine set up so I have a three ring binder here simple they're like a dollar if I don't even know if they're a dollar but uh First and foremost, label the binder for the truck, the trailer, the unit number. Um, one thing people do put on there too is the last eight of their VIN or the last six of their VIN. That way if you ever call and need to like call and need parts, they always want like the last six or eight of your VIN number. And so that's not a bad thing to have on there too. But um, that should be on the outside of your truck as well. But, but you can put that on there, but I have it labeled on the side and on the front so and I make two of these so and you might ask well why do you have two of them because accidents happen things happen uh, if something was to happen to this book I have another one set up at the office to where I could just grab it and I don't have to waste time printing off paperwork and whatnot uh, if I'm in a hurry when I go through town I just have another one at the office ready to go just in case like for instance I set it on my trailer after I'm done with an inspection but I need to tighten my straps forget it's on my trailer next thing you know it's on the side of the highway somewhere uh, it's just easier to be prepared so but um <clears throat> so when you open up mine this is the way I have mine set up so over here in this little pocket I have the little card that tells you how to use your ELD that way when they ask you to send in your hours uh, you know it tells you where to go and how to email your hours into the into the little DOT office and then back here somewhere I have just an extra unit number just because you know whatever I have it so if the car if the truck wash was to blow off a number I can replace it uh, next is your cab card slash truck registration, which is probably the most important thing you have because this is what they're going to use to search up your company to make sure everything's active. So like when you walk into Wyoming, I walk in, I literally, when it's my turn to walk up, I open up the book, I set the book on their counter, boom, they're ready to go. Uh, it makes everybody's life easier, happier, faster. And so I have... The truck registration followed by the trailer registration followed by my insurance then the little insurance card followed by my IFTA you want your IFTA easy to find followed by 
my rental agreement on the trailer even though I I rent it from just my buddy so that it's like literally a childhood friend but still it's better to be safe than sorry so and then I have what's this damn thing the freaking I can't see 2290 <laughs> trying to remember names of stuff but the LED light that I have on the GoPro is extremely bright. 2290. There. My last truck and trailer inspection. My DOT. Uh, the trailer one's just behind the truck one. So I hardly ever get asked for the trailer one, but you need it. So I just keep the truck one in the front. What do we got here? I haven't, haven't been this far back in my book for a long time. Oh, uh, a title report for the Volvo. And then this is just gets into stuff that I just need in the back. Um, or I want in here. So like the place that I had my this Volvo financed through. I don't need this anymore because uh, it's paid off. But uh, Freedom Truck Finance was who I had it financed through. And then I have a bunch of extra just little folders back here that I can stick stuff in so if I need stuff but that's all you need simple easy efficient done so walk in flip it open hand it to them boom registration two pages back if done so simple as that but anyways I got to get on the road guys just figured I'd make that video hopefully this helps people out I'm not saying that's the right way to set up your book. That just works for me, and I've never had any issues about it. So uh, thank you guys for like watching. And then uh, on your way out, please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.